Hello everyone and welcome to a quick Unity tutorial about the Unity versions. Although it might seem like kind of a boring topic, knowing what tools you're working with and what other tools might be at your disposal is a crucial thing to have a good workflow. And over the years, with all these new features and groundbreaking improvements in the Unity editor, the software has gone through a lot of versioning. So now we have all these Unity 5.4.2 or Unity 2021.4.10 F1. These big strings might look a bit strange to newcomers, and it can definitely be hard to wrap our heads around all the available versions to find the one that best suits the current project. So today we're gonna have a quick look at all of that and see which Unity version is the best for you. Okay, first of all, let's quickly go through these version numbers. Since 2017, Unity has decided to drop the usual major.minor.patch format to instead go for versions that are composed of three parts. First, you have the year of the release, because Unity gets a new version of the editor out every spring. After that, you've got the major version, because Unity gets several big updates to the editor during one year. And finally, you have the minor version, with its current release stage like alpha, beta, final, or just the default. By the way, it's also around that time that Unity introduced the Unity Hub. That is basically meant to centralize and normalize everything that is Unity tooling related. So the Hub allows you to download and install new versions, to navigate through different versions you have currently installed on your computer, to list all of your projects, create new ones with a given Unity version from a template or a blank slate, and look at other things like the analytics services or your account settings. The funny thing is that this hub is actually version 2, so you can find threads about new versions of the editor being only accessible via specific versions of the hub. Generally speaking, you should just keep this hub up to date with the latest release. Now, back to the Unity editor versions themselves. The most archaeologists' minds might want to turn back the clock, and they can actually have a look at the Unity download archive to get the very specific legacy version. However, if you don't care about these precise numbers, you can consider that Unity versions come in three flavors. First, if you're in a hurry and you're working on a fairly generic project in terms of tech requirements, the best rule of thumb is probably to go for the latest LTS version. LTS means long-term support, and it's basically a tag that Unity puts on any version it deems robust enough to survive at least a few years. It's been tested extensively, it won't get any new features, only bug fixes during two years, and all its packages have been verified thoroughly. At the time of making this video, the LTS version is 2021.3.9f1, but there are also a few legacy LTS that date back to 2019 and that allow us to maintain and share projects with the community while making sure everyone has a way of actually opening them. Then if you're feeling adventurous and want to test out Unity's latest still-in-development features, you can take a look at their preview releases in alpha or beta stage. You'll find them in your Unity Hub, and those are currently the 2022.2.0b7 and 2023.1.0a9 versions. Those might be filled with little gold nuggets and amazing new features, but remember that those features are still in the pipes, so the editor will be potentially unstable and should not be used for actual production. These versions are really meant to be tested by the community, so use those if you want to help Unity with their beta testing program. Now, if you want to anticipate upcoming features and be an early adapter while still getting ready for the next LTS, you might want to check the in-between, the TechStream release. That version gets two updates a year and may have some unstable APIs, but it also has a lot of preview packages and fresh in-progress features to discover that will be supported until the next LTS release. So, just to sum up, the LTS version is probably what you need most of the time. If you're in prod or you want a stable editor, go for this one. 
The Textream version might have some interesting features and it might be required if your project relies on the latest tools, but it can have some instabilities, so you'll need to deal with that. Finally, the preview versions are mostly here if you want to help out Unity with their beta testing program. With that being said, if you've ever downloaded a somewhat old project from a member of the community or even the Unity team themselves and tried to open it on your computer, you might have been faced with this warning, telling you that you don't have any compatible versions to open the project. That's because Unity projects actually store which version of the editor they were made in inside their project version.txt file. So if this version is not on your computer, your Unity Hub will offer you two ways of solving the discrepancy. Either install the matching version, or try to upgrade the project. Now, you can of course add yet another Unity version on your machine, but soon enough it will start to take up quite a large amount of storage. So if you don't plan on reusing this version, it might be better to upgrade the project you downloaded instead. In short, what this means is that the Unity editor you decided to open the project with will try its best to update the config and auto-generated files, the settings and all that, to restore the project to a usable state, although matching the new editor version. If the version difference is just about a major or minor, things should go smoothly. You'll have to wait for some time for the project to load, but it should eventually open without too many hitches. There can however be some less friendly upgrades where either APIs have changed and so the code is no longer valid, or the rendering pipelines are incompatible, so all your materials just went flash pinky. Just before we end this video, let me just say a quick word about packages, since they also have a system of versioning. The release lifecycle of packages is pretty straightforward. First, they are in preview. Those can only be accessed if you turn on the option in your project settings, and Unity will tell you to be careful because those can be unstable. Then, once they are considered valid for use, packages are released. Finally, when they've been tested for a long time, they're marked as verified. Usually, you should try and use the released or verified packages, because it's safer. But again, just like with the alpha and beta versions of the editor, you might have to dive into the preview packages if your project requires some cutting-edge tools. Okay, and that's it for today. So I hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial and that you learned a few things to pick up the Unity version that best fits your project. If you did, feel free to like the video and subscribe to the channel. And of course, if you have other ideas of Unity tricks that you'd like to learn, don't hesitate to leave a comment and I'll see if I can make a tutorial on that topic. As always, thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you soon for more videos on coding and games.